Okay, YouTube. Uh, here we go with my first run with my uh, screencaster and uh, my new equipment here. It took me a while to download, but I wanted to make you guys totally aware. If you look over here at Solar Wind 737.3, that is abnormally fast. Um, I'm over here at SolarHam.net, as you can tell up here. Scroll down for you. As you can see the old uh, speedometer of kilometers per second. Um, the one thing I'm concerned about is that uh, there are some data that's missing. We've got the K index is now missing when it was when it was peaking. Now you can see where it was peaking, and then there was a decline, and then a decline uh, or uh, the uh, sunspot monitors missing here, protons missing here. Uh, but the K index here, the BZ rating and stuff, uh, is very important. If you'll uh, scroll down here, it seems that the data is starting to miss here as well. So as all this solar activity, you can see the density was pretty thick. If you go back in time, you can see that this was um, hitting in the 800s even. Uh, current data, though, of... Oh. Current data shows it though a little slower in the 730s. But that's even higher than what was uh, predicted. There is, uh, there's your speedometer though for the solar wind. And the BZ is stabilizing according to the last reading 737.3. This updates every three minutes over here at solarham.net, but these are down. <clears throat> And it's very important information that we need to know during these high winds because uh, of the coronal holes in which they are emanating from. And as you can tell, all the past data was going crazy. Alright. Now all of a sudden, no, even no data, I can see the data ending here. Data is ending here on all satellites. Uh, we got a blackout over here. The sun's coming up, of course, but uh, its sun's not up over here yet. <clears throat> if you uh, go with, to that website here and take a quick look to see if that has ended there. Well, the global is working, it seems, but... Go ahead and take that off. But we're having a lot of missing data here. If you go straight to the side, it's even stopped there. Hmm. So we have four magnetometers. Yeah, even the magnetometers. And these are all from the official sites. Hmm. Click some other ones and see if the uh <coughs> pardon me folks. Goes is down. X ray flux. It's very important there. What's going on there in space? Is it knocking these? Uh, these are all um, satellites, folks. Uh, proton, is it, all these are down. Polar and the sun oh, We don't need any of that, but these are the uh, ace real time. Let's see, we haven't even. See how close it's come to 800 here, and it's spiked. And you see some spiking here. That might be an 800 reading here. Here it could be an 800 reading here. And you can see BZs all over the place. And then on the rise even here. Even going down to a negative... Uh, near negative four. 
And then again the BZ. And all of a sudden here you can see the data is stopped. So this is my concern, folks, is that we have a solar wind event. And um, right now at 808 UTC here on Saturday. That's 313 uh, Central Time. And I just thought this would be worth uh, a YouTube upload and uh, alert if you're up at this time. <laughs> or waking up in the morning uh, go to solarham.net or to these official sites and take a look um, okay, going back to the go back to solar here yeah. like I said here's their main page it gets you everything and this is what tipped me off and so I started to go ahead and looking around and noticing that all the satellites are down. So again, heads up.